Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss one of the most popular functions in Microsoft Excel, the average function. I'm also going to explain how zeros versus blanks are different and how you have to be careful with them when you're doing the average function. So let's go ahead and get started. I have some car manufacturers in column A and a little trivia question that I'll answer at the end of this video. What is unusual about the car manufacturers I have listed in column A is the question. I'll answer that at the end of the video. So I've got some numbers in column B. If you just want to know the average of a range and not have to type anything, just simply highlight whatever numbers you want to know. And it's down here in the bottom on the status bar is the average. But I actually need to print this off and show it. So I'm going to go where I want my answer, which is B19. I'm going to use the mouse the first time. I'm on the Home tab in the top left. Here's Auto Sum, but here's the drop down next to it. I want to do the average. I'm going to click on Average, and that will pick up the correct range this time of B2 to B18. If it didn't pick up the correct range, just grab the mouse and highlight whatever you want to average. But B2 to B18, so that blank is okay. I want to show you what formula I used and the answer and stay here. So instead of enter, I'm going to do control enter. That leaves me in the cell 40.125, which is the same number we had a second ago. There is my formula in the formula bar right there. Just to make sure you know you can do this, I used the mouse the first time. You can just type in the average function. So equals A-V-E-R, average is selected in blue. I'm going to hit the tab key. That put in the open parent. I want to average B2 through, which is a colon, B18. You don't have to close the parent. Control enter. Same exact answer. I just want to make sure you know you can type because one day your range is going to be B2 to B98,000. And that is not a good time to use the mouse. Let me discuss these zeros that are showing. Um, if the actual value is zero, then this is great. But if I have a zero in here, because I'm not sure of the number yet, so that would be for Buick and Infinity right here, and I really should have blanks, then this number is not correct. So, let me show you the difference. I'm just going to copy and paste over into column C. I've got the exact same formula down below. If you delete the zeros and now they're truly blanks, I hope you see the difference between the average number versus blanks. There you go. One thing you have to be careful about, I'm going to get rid of column C now. So just recall that zeros do count into the average. You have to be careful with this. Sometimes I love this feature, but this is one example. I probably would not want to use it. I can hide all the zeros automatically. That is under File Options, Advanced over on the left. Just scroll way down and there is display options for this worksheet. Be care make sure you're in worksheet and not workbook. That box right there, I just took the check mark out. Show a zero in cells that have zero values. So now when I hit OK, the zeros I have in column B are still there, but they will not show a zero. There you go. What's important is if someone was to just see this, maybe in a slide deck and quickly throw those numbers up and average them, they would have a different answer because they don't know, look at the formula bar, that that zero is still there. So just be careful with that. That's File, Options, Advanced, Scroll Down, Worksheet, Not Workbook, Worksheet, Not Workbook, that feature right there. And the bonus that I have today is if you wanted to average these and have the zeros in here, but you didn't want to average it with the zeros, that would be the average if function. 
I'm just going to do it right here. Average if tab, I like the numbers, the range, comma, what's my criteria, which is in bold. Well, I just don't want to average the zeros. So there you go right there. I'm done. I'm going to average B2 to B17 greater than zero. Control enter. 45.857. That is correct. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The answer about column A, those are all car manufacturers, but they all have a different parent company than the car manufacturer. So notice Honda's not in there. Honda's parent company is Honda. Ford Motor, Ford is in there. Their parent company is Ford. But Lexus is owned by Toyota. Kia is actually part of Hyundai, I believe. Um, Acura is owned by uh, Acura is owned by Honda. I'm not going to go through every one of them. Cadillac, Chevrolet, they're all part of General Motors. Chrysler, I believe, is I think it's Fiat. Anyway, Dodge or Chrysler, one of those are Fiat. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.